Hello, it's a uh, quick YouTube video for you guys to check out the speaker cooler I built about a year or so ago. I got the ideas from other people's videos on YouTube, just took the parts of their video, or their cooler designs that I liked and built it into mine. Uh, it has a total of four of the five and a half inch marine speakers, two on this side, two on the other, and in the center it has a 10 inch uh, subwoofer with a 12 inch subwoofer grill to give it some protection. On the outside over here I installed a normal cigarette lighter output there and it has a switch in the inside I'll show you it can be used to charge the cooler if you have a double male uh, cigarette lighter I primarily built this thing to put in the boat and so when the boat's running and it's charging it's putting some juice back to the, uh, the cooler itself I've got uh, two computer cooling fans one here and one here one blows in one blows out and then on the other side are the other two speakers and then uh, you have access here, quick access to see the uh, head unit and all the control switches. And then inside is a, uh, a generic JVC head unit I purchased at Walmart, maybe hundred dollars. What I liked about it, it had the Bluetooth receiver so I can link it to whatever uh, device I want to use. And then also I installed a power inverter. It does 150 watts. Um, so we've got two 110 outputs plus the 12 volt. And then I have a uh, USB right here. Uh, you can charge your iPhone, iPod, whatever, and also the head unit has a USB output as well. Or input, however you want to use a thumb drive or charge something. And it came with a microphone, so you can, you know, and it's designed for in the car, you can talk on your phone. Um, this is a switch that controls the cigarette lighter on this side, so you don't always have to have power to it. And then I put a hinge right here, nice little knob, and it comes into the compartment where the battery is. And you guys can see how the speaker is, uh, the hole is drilled there. Or, or cut into it. And I'm going to post another video uh, later on about the inner workings and the wiring of it. And you can see there's the antenna that runs full length. You can see the side of the uh, sub enclosure. So the sub has its own custom uh, enclosure I built for its airspace. So the first switch here turns on the cooling fans. One there, one there. And that, uh, on this side of it, there is a kind of C to the line right here, and that's the edge of the subwoofer enclosure, and the amp is bolted to the side of it. So the head unit and amp and all that would create that heat there, and it'll help circulate that heat out. This switch here turns on the head unit. The switch controls the speakers on this side, and this switch controls the speakers on the other side. Uh, the, these were $1 a piece switches I bought on Amazon, so 10 for 10 bucks and the lights that indicate that they're on when they have uh, current flowing through them quickly uh, burned out. Just cheap switches I guess you get what you pay for. So those are on. I'm in Bluetooth mode. Turn on my wireless or my, my uh, music playing device here. Let's see settings. JVC unit. Connect. So this connected. We'll just pull up a Pandora here and play something. There we go. So I like it because I can take my phone to the beach, my iPod, put it in a waterproof case, and uh, just skipping my internet so the connection here is pretty slow. And I can control the volume from my chair or the console or my boat. I just put the iPod in this on the on the boat and then put it around the steering wheel. It stays on the dash all the time. The kit came with a remote and. Uh, it's a great great speaker cooler. I get about five hours of a good run time on it if I'm pushing it pretty hard. Um, when you start powering a subwoofer and you're, you're making a beat pretty good, it'll drain the power. Uh, that's a good thing about it. Easy access. You can uh, hook your charger up to it. Um, in the boat, if you have uh, the cigarette lighter like I did, a double male. Or uh, if you can go tailgating, which we do use it for, I'll take a uh, charger with me and set it, hook it up to the generator because we've got that power in the satellite, TV, crock pots, and whatnot when we're tailgating the football season. Uh, one of the other features I saw online I really liked was uh, the switches to control the sound uh, for the side. Just to, just to be considerate of other people, if you're on the beach, you don't want to blast those folks behind you. They may not want to hear it, or if you're tailgating. Uh, and sometimes if you want to get down and party, turn them all on and you're not bothering anybody. So. And the whole project took me about 40 hours worth of time just uh, design, measuring, trying to figure out where I wanted my holes to make everything look well and have a good appeal to it. And uh, scrounging up parts, a lot of stuff was made on a budget. I had leftover wood for the speaker box, I bummed the grill from somebody else. Uh, I had a 
subwoofer from uh, a previous vehicle I wasn't using. So the new purchases for me were the cooler, the switches, the um, four speakers, the head unit, and the uh, power inverter. And all the wiring harnesses inside that you see, or you'll see on the second video, are left over from other projects. It's kind of something that you need to know um, what you're doing because it's not really color coded. You probably won't be able to figure out what's going on in there. So, all right, YouTube, thanks for watching, and check out the second video uh, coming up shortly. Oh, one more thing it's suck on, it's heavy. It's probably over uh, 100 something pounds. It takes two people to, uh, to move it. And I want to put some wheels on it. If you have any ideas, suggestions how to make uh, good wheels for it, uh, where it still looks good and the wheels are functional, uh, I know you get on the beach with that loose sand, it might uh, really start to drag with any type, unless you have some big, bulky wheels. So, in the comments below, or you can send me a private message. Thanks for watching.